Hello once again, this is Doc. Welcome to Getting Started tutorial number 8 in our tutorial video series. This one covers keys, plates, and gates. Go ahead and click play this game when you're ready. Now so far we have covered teleporters, terrain editing, moving platforms, um, and all sorts of earlier gameplay stuff. Um, we're getting slowly more and more complicated as these videos go along. This one is going to cover uh, keys, plates, and gates, which kind of cover more uh, advanced sort of adventure game uh, puzzle style um, mechanics that you can uh, run into in the game, put into your game, things like that. So go ahead and click the go button when it's ready to go. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, we'll grab this first star here. One of eight for tutorial number eight. Read the first signpost. Here is an example of a pressure plate. Um, although there are many advanced settings that you can unlock as a game designer, we'll use a simple toggle plate in this tutorial. Try jumping on the pressure plate to open the gate. So as you see, we have a gate up ahead here that is currently closed. But we'll jump on this button and that opens right up for us. Okay, and we can step off because it's a toggle plate. We'll run into other kinds of plates later. Um, but we'll grab this second star, third star, and let's go ahead and grab the uh, fourth and fifth and sixth stars. I'm sure around the area here. And the next signpost. In this room, we've added a key that will open the gate. When picked up, keys are added to your purple action bar on the bottom of your screen. That's down here. Um, so let's close that, run over here, and you can see this one gate is a little bit golden. So we're looking for a golden key. Where is it? Oh, it looks like it's up on top of those boxes. So uh, how are we going to get up there? Let's grab this uh, seventh star and read this signpost. It says, this box, uh, this one sitting here, is a pushable item. Uh, like moving platforms, it can be pushed or pulled to waypoints to push the box. Get behind it and press R. To disengage from the box, press R again. So down on your action bar, you have it's labeled here with a little R for you. Um, this little hand button uh, to tell you you can grab it. So let's get right behind this box here. Let's press R and let's give it a shove all the way across past these plants right up to the other box. So now it's in place. And uh, let's hop up on top here. And now you're going to need to use one of your uh, earlier skills that you learned, ledge grabbing. And grab onto this edge, climb up, and uh, you can make that next jump. And now we've grabbed the key, and it shows up on the action bar down there, but you can see it's grayed out, so we can't click on it or do anything. But let's jump back down here. We've gotten all the stars in this area. As we, you can see, it's gray. As we get close to the gate that it's meant to be used for, it lights up so now that it's lit up we can click on it and now we've used the key it's gone but we've used it to open the appropriate gate so now we have made it through and uh, that's how keys work okay so complete our collection of eight stars there read this last signpost great job go to your workshop to design your own puzzle games using pressure plates gates pushable items and keys okay so this, we got kind of a bonus in this one um, for pushable items as well as gates plates and keys uh, but let's go ahead and finish it up all right so now you see we're starting to get into some more complicated stuff starting to get into some more exciting game mechanics uh, that you can use as a builder and run into as a player hope you enjoyed this tutorial number eight please continue to keep on watching to get more information my name is Doc, thank you for playing Jumala, and have a wonderful day.